hello friends welcome to my channel she says crochet today we are going to see how to crochet this beautiful crochet uh, tissue box cover which is very easy and beautiful even the beginner can crochet this pattern very quickly I have used here very simple stitches if you know the double crochet stitches it is easy for you and uh, if you want to see uh, other patterns on tissue box cover uh, then you can click the link below I'll be able to see many uh, videos which I have made before and for this pattern I have used only the 100% acrylic yarn you can choose any of uh, the yarn which you have and uh, for the measurement I have explained all these in this tutorial so please watch the tutorial till the end of this video and uh, if you have any comments or suggestions don't forget to mention it in the comment section or the uh, or you can send the messages through the Instagram if you're watching my tutorial for the first time don't forget to subscribe my channel along with the bell icon so whenever i upload a new video you will get the notification and uh, if you think it will help any of your friends or family don't forget to share with them as well the um, links here in the speciality for this tissue box is we have here the lace which is very easy so you can uh, tighten it uh, like it will not come out very quickly uh, so without further delay let's start our project for this project I have taken here the yarn which is from uh, Himalaya super soft yarn and uh, it is 100% acrylic the color code is 80841 they recommend the hook uh, 5 mm it has 200 gram and meters 328 this is 100 percentage acrylic yarn this is uh, uh, very good for the baby blankets patterns and all and you can use for other uh, projects too and to measure we need to have a measuring tape the hook size uh, just 5 mm as i uh, said uh, before and we need to have the tissue box which we are going to make Let's the cover. start this project with the slip note and then we are going to make chains one two three four five six seven eight nine ten thirty one thirty two so here we have made 32 chains which is multiples of three plus two now we are going to join this with the very first chain and then pull this yarn through this we made a slip stitch now let's make chain 3 1 2 3 yarn over into the same stitch we are going to make one double crochet and then again one more double crochet and then chain 1 again inside we'll make three double crochets one two three yarn over now we are going to skip three chains in between one two three and to the fourth we are going to make three double crochet one two three chain one again inside three double crochet one two three now yarn over let's keep the next two chains one two and to the third we'll make one double crochet again inside we'll make two more double crochet it's a cluster one two so we made here three double crochet stitches again yarn over skip the two and to the third we'll make three double crochet one two and three again yarn over skip the two and to the third we'll make three double crochets one two and three again yarn over skip the two and to the third we'll make one double crochet second one third one chain one we are going to make three more double crochets it's our third corner one two and three yarn over skip the next three one two three and to the fourth we'll make three double crochet one two three chain one again three double crochet one 
two and three yarn over skip the two one two and to the third we'll make three double crochet one two three yarn over and to the third three double crochet one two three and to the third one two and three so here we made our four corners this is our uh, first corner second corner third corner and the fourth corner in between these corners we have three clusters one two three here also one two three now we are going to make the slip stitch let's insert the hook into the third chain and we'll make the slip stitch okay so if your yarn is too thin or uh, if, if it is too uh, thicker you can change the foundation chains number and then you can go ahead with the same pattern now I just made uh, a little opener like this only so when we stretch like this it will come if you want a little longer you can have in between this these five don't uh, change these five Be here I have used for the first corner and to the second corner five stitches five chains one first chain we did the uh, increase three double crochet chain one three double crochet in between we have three uh, chains and then into the fourth from here it is the fifth one fifth chain we did three double crochet chain one three double crochet the same we did on the other side opposite side also we have used here five chains and then these two sides like if we have here one two three three clusters here also we must have three cluster if it is four here also should be four so each cluster we are having three uh, chains so the chains should be multiples of uh, three plus Two. when you take like this you can get it uh, perfectly so now let's start the second row here we are not in the right place so let's make three chain one two three yarn over we'll reach to this chain one space that's our first corner let's make three double crochet one two three chain one again three double crochet inside one two and three so in the previous round we were having nothing in this point this round we will be having three double crochets inside one two three so it's an increase and then next we are going to make in this uh, corner three double crochet one two three chain one again three double crochet one two and three so we got here two corners one and two yarn over into the space we'll make three double crochet one two three one one two again three double crochet one two three so three double crochet one two three and this corner we are going to make an increase one double crochet two double crochet third one chain one and then three double crochet so each corner we are going to repeat the same pattern three double crochet chain one three double crochet and then into each space we'll do three three double crochet stitches that's a cluster granny square uh, cluster granny cluster one two three four again three double crochet one two three and then we'll do into each space three three double crochet stitches so yarn over one two three four 
थ्री देन थ्री डबल क्रोशे वन टू थ्री वन टू थ्री here we have already three chains so let's make into this two double crochets one two and then into the third chain insert the hook and make a slip stitch so let's see here here one more round we have to make till we get the size which is enough to cover the top position we are going to repeat the same pattern so let's continue one more row we'll make here same like the previous round three chain one two three yarn over corner we'll make three double crochet chain one three double crochet three double crochet chain one again three double crochet and then into each space three three double crochets then in the corner corner three double crochet chain one three double crochet so let's repeat the same pattern once i finish this round i'll get back to you here i have repeated two more rounds and it is now enough to cover the top portion we are going to do the slip stitch into the third chain okay and then we will start working for this portion so it will go downward this is how our uh, top portion looks like we got the exactly we got the square shape now let's make three chain one two three yarn over into this same place we are going to make three double crochets one two including these three chains we got here three double crochets yarn over here we will choose the this one the back loop only the back loop i'm going to make three double crochets one two and three again yarn over come to the center and to this back loop inside the hook and make three double crochet one two and three yarn over now come to this point here into the back loop we'll make three double crochet one two and three yarn over choose these two loops back loop two loops we'll choose and we'll make three double crochet one two three yarn over insert the hook into this and then go like this so you will get on the other side two loops make three double crochet one two three yarn over again here is our space inside the hook like this and then you will get two loops on the other side make three double crochet one two three here it is not like this yarn over go to this back loop and then choose these two loops like three double crochet one two three yarn over same like this we are going to continue not in this like this don't take only one take these two and make three double crochet one two and three so same like this we are going to continue till the end of this row so you can see here this this portion started to grow downward see like this so let's continue the same pattern till the end of this row let's do the slip stitch into the third chain we have finished our first row here so this is how we are going to repeat uh, the pattern till we get our uh, project 
enough to cover the entire box so see here this row started to grow down inward and we will repeat the same pattern without any any corner and the top portion also looks very nice now now no need to uh, do the stitches into this back loop normally we will do so let's make three chain one two three yarn over inside the space we'll make three double crochets one two three and then into the next space here three double crochet so we are going to continue till we reach the end of this row the same pattern again we will start with the chain three then the clusters in into each space we are going to make three three double crochet stitches here into this last space we will make two double crochets we have three chains already so into the third chain we'll make the slip stitch then we'll make one chain one and then we are going to check the size so this is enough to cover this uh, side portions as well so now we are going to make the lace For that let's make chain 10 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 into this here into this under this two loop we'll make a single crochet chain 10 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 skip this space and to the next under this two loop we'll make one single crochet so same like this let's continue till the end of this row 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 here Ten chains one two three four five six seven eight nine ten and then here we'll make the single crochet again <coughs> let's make chain ten one two three four five six seven eight nine ten and this middle into the fifth chain or just uh, insert the hook into this middle chain and make a single crochet chain 10 <coughs> 5 6 7 8 9 10 here make one single crochet again chain 10 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 this middle point will make one single crochet so same like this we are going to continue till the end of this show and then we'll do a single crochet inside this arch chain one we can snip off this yarn using the hook we can hide this yarn here So here we have made the lace the arches to insert the lace not the lace lace now we are going to make for that I have taken the same yarn now I'm going to make the chains make a slip knot and then we'll make chain 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 I have made here 130 chains 
We'll make one more chain and I'm going to snip off this yarn. And then we'll pass this lace through this. Just take any of this and then just pass in and out into all the arches. Here, we'll make a small tie. Now let's try with this. Here you can tie this lace. Like this. So it will be looking nice. I really hope you all have enjoyed this tutorial very well. If you have any doubt, don't forget to mention it in the comment section or send a message through the Instagram. So we'll meet you on another video with the new pattern. Thank you.